what motivated me um, to pursue my degree is I wanted to set a good example for my kids, my kids. Um, I have a 28 year old, a 26 year old and an 18 year old. And I always push for them, you know, education is important, further education, do well in school, everything like that. But here I was, I was a hypocrite because I didn't even have my high school diploma. So who was I to sit there and, and, you know, tell my kids, you know, the importance of education, stay in school, get good grades when I didn't even have, like I said, a diploma. Um, I decided to obtain my high school diploma at the age of 44, I believe I'm 51. I just turned 51 a couple days ago. So 44 is when I obtained my, my high school diploma. I was working, I had a job and a very good job. So they didn't really question, you know, whether or not I had a degree or diploma or anything like that. Um, so after I obtained my, uh, high school diploma, I went on and enrolled at SCC to get my associates. And I just kept rolling from there, just kept going and kept going. Cause again, I wanted to set a good example for my kids because what my kids think of me is super important. Like I, I, I always want to make them proud because I love them. Um, what appealed me, what appealed to me, I'm sorry, um, about Bellevue is just the flexibility of, of it. Um, my daughter is actually the one that talked me into enrolling because I had taken a little bit of a hiatus uh, after I got my associates and she just kept pushing and, you know, encouraging me to re-enroll to get my bachelor's. Um, so I, I did that. Um, cause you know, I, again, setting a good example for my kids. Um, there were some challenges when I enrolled at Bellevue, I was initially supposed to start at a specific date, um, while waiting to begin my classes my husband and I were in a really bad car accident. And as I was um, speaking to my table, I was saying, you know, it's by the grace of God that we're even here because we shouldn't have survived that accident. Um, so I'm, I'm blessed for that. Um, but that I had to move my start date ahead, which was fine. So I began in April of last year to uh, obtain my, my degree. Um, I am the first in my immediate family to obtain both my associates and my bachelor's degree. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, with regards to how Bellevue's helped me move forward, um, for the past seven plus years, you know, I've worked for the state of Nebraska. Um, I started as a social services worker for Medicaid eligibility in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is where, where I live. Um, three years later, I was pro promoted to a medical claims investigator um, for long-term care, and I'm the only one in Nebraska who does that. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, the following year, I was promoted again to a uh, Department of Health and Human Services program specialist for a state recovery, but I still run my own long-term care program, so I do both. Um, so having my bachelor's degree, um, it is something that I would need, but because of my experience and the love of what I do, I was able to transition into those roles prior to, to get my bachelor's, obviously. Receiving the scholarship. Now I'm going to hope to get through this without getting a little misty eyed. <sighs> So when I received the email that I was being given the scholarship, I am not ashamed. I was choked up because when I attended SCC, right, I, I did get um, a scholarship and it was, I appreciated it, right? But this one was the absolute largest one that I've ever gotten in my life. And I, I knew when, when I received it, I said, okay, 
they have faith in me for some reason. They have faith and I'm going to I'm going to make the donors proud of the fact that they're giving me this opportunity. Um, I, I take what I do seriously, whether it's my work or school, I will not and have no intention on, you know, taking the opportunity for granted at all, at all. Um, the scholarship was such a blessing. It, it was really, really, really a blessing. Um, I did again, I didn't take it for granted and it showed my resilience through the adversity that I faced from our car accident, working full time, you know, having to take care of my husband, who after 22 years at Kawasaki was forced into retirement after our car accident. Um, my hard work and dedication had truly paid off. Words cannot explain how truly blessed and thankful I am for the scholarship. I promise, I promise. Saying thank you doesn't seem enough. And if I could hug all of the donors, every one of you who made it possible for me to get the scholarship, I, I would. I would. As far as what's next for me, um, you know, as I stated previously, I'm in the career that I love already because I am helping Nebraska's live better lives and I love it. Um, it just so happens that the career that I have happened before my education, and although my educational and career path were backwards, I'm so glad that I was able to take the journey. I know that the sky is the limit for all of us, all of us. And I am content with earning my bachelor's degree. I have no regrets. And I hope that I've made my three children very proud. Thank you.